Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Den on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences Boston, New England chapter. Welcome to this edition of Able to Non Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm on Seiler. And on this um, show, which is uh, kind of breaking news on this show, um, today we are talking about the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. But before we do that, uh, we would like to say um, thank you to our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and many, many others, including the support from uh, the Vermont Division for the Blind, Vermont Association for the Blind, and the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition. Uh, uh, thank you to our sponsors and our supporters. Um, you know, we want... Um, by the way, according to the New York Times, and like I said, this is breaking news, um, the latest updates of Hurricane Ida, death toll grows from the f f flooding of the Northeast. Uh, the governor of New Jersey announced that two more deaths on Friday, uh, today, uh, with the, and this is updated 45 minutes ago, uh, bringing those killed by the storm to at least 45 across four states. Wow. Um, anything you want to say in regards oh, to... Um, oh, there was um, there's a dozen people killed in New York City and 13 people died in their apartments from the storm. Yeah, if you're in a basement, you have to be really... Yeah, 30, it's a total of a dozen people killed in New York, from New York City. Okay, and um, so... And, and Louisiana got hit very hard. Yeah, right? this, according to the New York Times, and by the way, you can look up the Hurricane Ida at www.newyorktimes.com uh, forward slash live 2021. Um, and this was about 45 minutes ago. Destruction was widespread from a row of homes in southern New Jersey, which leveled by a tornado that reached maximum wind speeds of 150 miles per hour to cars submerged along the <clears throat> Springbrook Parkway in Yonkers, New York. On Friday morning, nearly on Friday, on this Friday morning, September 3rd, 2021, 50,000 homes were in the region still without power, 26,000 in Pennsylvania, 12,000 in New Jersey, and 8,000 in New York. The damage was all from howling, given, uh, given that came up relatively little warning from political leaders who were already contending with the pandemic and uh, continues to kill thousands of Americans each week. Those leaders from President Biden down in New York's Democratic nominee for mayor, er Eric Adams, expressed simply a similar sentiment in their reaction to the storm. Climate change is here. In a speech to the White House, Mr. Biden 
called it the storm, was devastating before pivoting to discussion on other natural disasters, including Katrina and others, affecting the United States, including wildfires in the West and the damage of Hurricane Ida in the South. Um, the destruction is everywhere, he said, according to President Biden, in a matter of life and death, we're all in this together, and one great challenge at a time. So um, the totals are reported hourly, individually defined uh, by METAR, and, and uh, you know, in terms of the, um, uh, the water dropping with Hurricane uh, Ida, um, September 1st, 2021, Ida also produced seventh, the seventh highest hourly rainfall, dropping to to 1.82 inches between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. So this is um, if you are and and um, it's not a future threat, according to um, the new governor Kathy Hochul of New York, uh, but it's climate change and it is a current threat. Um, you know, so we all have to be careful. So um, if you are near a subway or if you are near um, different things like that, please be careful. Most of New York subway systems remained disrupted on Friday morning, although there were signs of improvement. Um, that's what they said, yeah. Signs of improvement uh, because they were suspended the other day and uh, some of them are closed. Days after the remnants of Hurricane Ida barreled through the region, bringing territorial rains and deadly flooding. As of Friday morning, um, the majority of lines were back in service, but delays. Uh, please, if you're watching, um, um, please, no, please, if you if you're watching, please check the uh, service updates. The service updates. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority has been conducting um, has been conducting round the clock repairs to the nation's largest subway system, uh, fully running again after the storm damaged tracks and turned platforms and stairwells into water slides. Um, yeah. We we've managed to restore a ton of service today, but our tracks in Queens suffered the most damage. The MTA said in a Twitter post th on Thursday night. Um, crews crews in, in the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, uh, buses and trains, uh, supervisors and, and, and the like, have been saying that crews have been working around the clock, according to a, tw a Twitter feed. Uh, crews have been working around the clock, Services last night was um, was uh, uh, changed. Expect significant delays and service changes throughout the system. We've managed to restore a ton of service, but our tracks and their tracks in Queens suffered the most damage. Amtrak said that it would re it would uh, it would resume service along the Northeast Corridor between Washington D.C. and Boston on Friday night, but uh, but its trains between Albany and New York City will remain canceled. Uh, New Jersey Transit said all lines except the Montclair and the Bontun, the Boonton, Gladstone, Passaic Valley, and Raritan Valley would operate um, on a weekday schedule on Friday. Bus service will be running on a weekday schedule, but some uh, delays and detours. Uh, the Long Island Railroad will resume full service to most branches by Thursday afternoon, but some disruptions sp uh, spilling into Friday morning. Some lines on the, on the Metro North Railway plan to have enhanced weekend service, but... Um, uh, but Friday and others, others remain disrupted. Um, okay, uh, due to um, um, detours and so on, disrupted into Friday morning. Some lines in Metro North are planning 
to have enhanced, enhanced weekend service on Friday and others remain disrupted. Flights on Friday morning out of LaGuardia Airport, Kennedy International Airport, and Newark Liberty International Airport largely appear to be on time with minimal delays. Um, no, it says minimal delays according to the New York Times. I, when I saw online, they were, they were canceled. Okay. Anything you want to say about that? Well, I want to say that people should, shouldn't travel because of this thing that's happening, you know? Mm -hmm. They should take the class and, you know, stay home and, and be cautious, you know? Now, according to... Uh, now, in terms of food insecurity, which is a, a really big problem in the United States, um, Hurricane Ida food stores struggled to remain stocked amid, amid shortages. Okay, so um, those that are um, dealing with stocking shelves. Now, in terms of no, I turned that down. Um, in in, in terms of um, COVID-19, the issue is, you know, now people are still stocking on toilet paper, you know, uh, yeah. talking about hoarding. Businesses, now, according to this, businesses, uh, according to Fox Business Report, um, businesses ac um, across Mississippi and and Louisiana have struggled to keep up with the demands of food and water after the aftermath of Hurricane Ida passed through the state this week. Um, the, according to the Ralph Market in Diamond Head, uh, <clears throat> they can't replace stock fast enough as residents try to restock their homes following flood damage and continue power outages. Uh, they've, been, they've been dealing with an influx of people coming to Louisiana, <coughs> to Lu <coughs> Louisiana, to Louisiana uh, stores, and as um, store managers have told WLOX uh, TV and and radio, a lot of people are looking for eggs, bread, hot food, and produce. And we're just all out of basic stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially before the Jewish holidays. Yeah. A lack of delivery is expected uh, times to the instructed roads and lack of um, avail av available drivers, and they have exacerbated the problem. Officials closed the Mississippi River to barge traffic among, uh, and deliveries ahead of the storm. And the new, the new Orleans International Airport shut down cargo traffic on August 29th. Um, according to Hurricane, I, uh, Hurricane Ida has caused destruct, de, uh, destruction, could lift infrastructure bill um, as it hopes. Um, in, co in combination, it means no supplies are moving towards <clears throat> to people who desperately need it. Without power, food, and water, um, residents have been freezes, fridges and freezers and have already started to spoil. So here's the thing. If you're dealing with a hurricane or any natural disaster, don't open up your refrigerator. Um, I would say keep, keep a cooler. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Uh, more than 1,000 residents of Louisiana still do not have power, and officials warn that the power may not return for weeks, the BBC reported. Um, uh, the systems we depend on to save, to save lives uh, and, and, the, and to protect our city is just that we are grateful. Um, but there's so much of work to be done. The New England, uh, I mean, the New Orleans, the new, uh, the New Orleans Mayor um, uh, Mayor Latoya Cantrell said on Monday. Um, 
Yeah, because they, they, they got hit first. They got hit first. Exactly. Exactly. Not um, before the Jewish holiday is bad, you know. So I'm, we're going to give you advice today on what to do during a natural disaster. What? Call, call the Red Cross. Or call FEMA. They'll give you, you know, they should give emergency service. Mm-hmm. You know, at least call somebody, you know, to give you uh, emergency services. Hold on. I'm sure there's Red Cross out there helping. You know. Okay, so during a natural disaster, um, okay, preparing for a natural disaster for people with disabilities, according to www. Redcross.org. So let's go to that. Um, <clears throat> preparing for disaster for people with disabilities and other special needs. According to FEMA and the American Red Cross, um, there's a booklet online. So you can go to www.redcross.org uh, if you are dealing with uh, that. Um, so the following websites um, can help you with Additional information, www.accessboard.gov, the Access Board, or, or www.dhhs, uh, um, uh, Administration on Aging, uh, the uh, National Council on Disability, ncd.gov, uh, the National Association on Disability Prepare, um, uh, the National Association on Disability, which is uh, www.nod.org um, uh, forward slash emergency. Um, you can go to uh, www.prepare.org, uh, www.aapd.com, uh, which is the American Association for People with Disabilities, the American Association for the Blind. This is all on the on the Red Cross website. The American Association for the Deaf. I mean, the National Association for the Deaf. And the lo if you are listening in Los Angeles or watching in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles uh, City uh, Department on Disability, or uh, another good website, um, you can go to www.easterseals. Dot org. That's www.easter-seals.org uh, uh, um, for more information on emergency preparedness. So be, um, being um, someone with a disability, you have to have uh, things prepared. Um, uh, for millions of Americans who have physical or mental uh, uh, physical, medical, sensory, or cognitive disabilities, emergencies such as uh, such as in fires, floods, acts of terrorism present a real challenge. The same challenge also applies to the elderly and people with special needs. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, people with special needs populations. Protecting yourself and your family when disaster strikes uh, requires planning ahead. In this booklet online, you can get it online, um, there's a booklet here, which is a PDF file. Uh, in this booklet, um, you can discuss with your family and friends and personal care attendant for anyone in your support network to prepare a, an emergency, to prepare an emergency plan or uh, emergency plan. So, um, yeah, you, you, you can, um, Go to uh, redcross.org, uh, um, I'm sorry, .org, and look at that. Um, post a plan where everyone can see it, and keep a copy. Um, always keep a copy of your emergency numbers, emergency addresses, and um, it, you know your mother, father, anybody that um, takes care of you is real important, and. And why do, according to the American Red Cross, it says, why do we prepare? We have nine minutes left, but we can go a little over. Why do, why do we prepare? Um, and the reason why we prepare is that emergency and disasters can strike 
quickly without warning and can force you to evacuate your neighborhood or confine you to your home. What uh, And what do you do if basic services such as water, gas, electricity, or telephones were cut off? Local officials, uh, this is all on the website, local officials will be on the scene after a disaster, but they cannot reach everyone everywhere. Um, so the the next four tips, we have time for that. The next four tips, get informed, make a plan, assemble a kit, and maintain your plan and kit. So um, okay, so this is what you need for de uh, personal care. Do, regu uh, do you regularly need assistance in personal care, such as bathing and grooming? Do you uh, need adaptive equipment to help you get dressed? Do you need water service? Uh, do you need personal care equipment? Um, shower chair, tub transfer bench, and any other uh, equipment. Adaptive feeding devices. So these are all the things that um, American Red Cross can help you with. Uh, when it comes, and, and, and if you need medication, medications. Yeah, yeah. You now, in terms of a kit, uh, here, um, let me let me um, go down here. They give you checklists. It's, it's all on the website. So um, usually in a backpack or um, to go bag, you should have. It says here. Assemble a disaster supply uh, kit. You should have the following, okay? Um, you should have, number one, a three-day supply of non-perishable food and, and uh, ma a manual, not electric, but a manual can open. A three-day supply of water, one gallon of water per person per day. Portable battery-powered radio or television and extra battery. Flashlight and extra batteries. You should have a first aid kit and manual. You should have sanitation and hygiene items, hand sanitizer, towelettes, and toilet paper. Matches, if, if you need them, in a waterproof container, okay? Um, you should have a whistle. You should have extra clothing and blankets. You should have um, kitchen accessories and cooking utensils. Photocopies of identification and credit cards, cash and coins, uh, maybe no more than $100 or $200 uh, in small bills. Uh, you, sh um, you should have all your special needs items such as pres prescription medication, eyeglasses, contact lenses, um, solutions, hearing aids. Um, items for infants such as formula, diapers, bottles, pacifiers, tools, pet supplies, a map of the local area, and other items to meet your, your, your needs. Now, if you live in a cold climate, in Vermont it does get cold in the winter, you should have a jacket or coat, long pants or long sleeve shirt, sturdy shoes, hat, mittens, scarf, uh, sleeping bag or blanket. Yeah, and it says here you should have first aid kit and a flashlight. Now, um, yeah, because when it hits um, below zero, especially if there's a flood or, you know, something, um, hypothermia is something not to mess with. So if you have that, you can call uh, 911 and call the American Red Cross. So for more information on the American Red Cross and preparedness, you can go to www.redcross.org forward slash content uh, and forward slash PDF. Uh, PDF is the file name uh, preparedness, disaster recovery, and ge general preparedness and for people with disabilities. Because um, people with disabilities and special needs uh, have more needs than the normal um, or, you know, the normal. So, you know, we must take care of them uh, the best way we know how. Anything you want to say about that before we end? Uh, we should say that they should be ready and, and, and the elderly too. 
Yeah, and it also says here in the emergency prepared kit, uh, you can have a seasonal supplies such as uh, extra winter blankets, hats, mittens, shovels, sand tire chains, uh, windshield scraper, um, extra extra food um, uh, such as granola bars or, or easy things to eat. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I would like to thank our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and many others for their help in Able Den on Air, including the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, um, the, Montpelier, the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition, and many, many, many others, also including uh, uh, Yehad of New York and New England, um, and, and many others um, for their help in the production of Able Den on Air. Um, um, tune in next time for another exciting episode of Able Den on Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Able Den on Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services. Empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yehad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Den on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter.